I just know the OVO camp is going to be looking crazy on Monday. Especially after Kendrick decided to release his own tailor-made freestyle featuring his right-hand man Soundwave as his producer and Taylor's producer. This man is exposing the OVO camp and I know a lot of people have already talked about this The Weeknd said something about it. Kendrick is out here playing chess. All these motherfuckers are playing checkers. I'm trying to figure out who the mole is. Is it Smiley? Is it Division? Is it Roy Woods? It's, it's probably Party. We don't know yet. I think what's really making me laugh is that people are trying to connect it to so many things. Obviously, for those of you that know, Drake's signature thing is the destination timestamps. For Kendrick to drop a 616 in LA over an Al Green sample. You got so many motherfuckers talking about how the double entendres are just stacking up. Obviously, the cover of the song has some gloves on it. Double ends are definitely a reference to Maybach Music and Rick Ross. This is also no coincidence. The OJ trial was also 616. Jobless people are pointing out that Tupac Shakur was born on 616. Also, Euphoria was released 616. Got people quoting verses, area codes. As a Kendrick fan, I definitely feel like there are a lot of reaches that I've seen. Then I see bars like this, and I'm like, this is Pulitzer Kenny. This is exactly why he was awarded an award like this. Break is on the clock, and I cannot wait to see what he has.